I'm Rob Wilson North and I'm the Conservation Manager at Exmoor National Park and my job is to look after all the specialists who deal with the special qualities of Exmoor's um, environment, that's woodlands, archaeology, landscape, farming, wildlife um, and in that role it's to try and bring those specialists together so we manage Exmoor and influence the way Exmoor's managed to the benefit of the National Park and its special qualities, the reasons why which it, for which it was designated a National Park in the first place. And what are the most challenging aspects of your role? One of the most challenging aspects of my job, I find, is A, there's not enough time to do it. Exmoor is such an amazing national park. It's so diverse. There's so much to it. It's, it's, there's so much to do. Um, and the other side of it, I think, is that we're one of the least visited national parks, and yet there is so much here for people. So it's, it's getting that message out. It's getting people engaged with the special qualities of the national park. That's a great challenge. So how's what you're doing helping to sustain Exmoor's woodlands? Exmoor's woodlands are a key feature of the National Park. Much of it is ancient woodland and I think one of the, the challenges for me is looking at what's special about the woodlands today and realising that those special qualities are very often um, the result of human management in the past. And Exmoor's woodlands by and large have been managed by people for hundreds if not thousands of years. And to understand that past management takes you to a place where you understand what particular biodiversity that woodland has to offer today. So in other words, it's past management that's led to what's special about it now. And it's trying to, to, to see it in that way so that the way we manage the woodlands into the future, sustainably manage them, is based on the lessons from the past and based on, on the evidence that we have from the past. And why is your role important? With Exmoor's woodlands, there's a, a sense of disengagement, I think, People know some sites particularly well, but there are vast areas of woodland that people don't know, some of it's private land, but there are good rights of way networks through those woodlands. And for me, I think it's, it's about people getting out there and seeing the woodlands at first hand. And if I was going to say one thing, you know, it's go out in the autumn, that's a brilliant time of the year, go in the early spring maybe as well. Don't just go in the summer, that's when most people visit Exmoor, but go at different times of the year and you'll find the woodlands have so many different things to offer. When you see that, you can't fail but be enchanted by them. What advice would you give to members of the public who are interested in conserving Exmoor's woodland? Exmoor's woodlands have a series of different values, if you like. Those are ecological values, the value of standing timber, value in terms of their landscape and in terms of their cultural heritage the way, and the, people, the way people feel about the woodlands. And my role is really to try and balance all of those so that the management of Exmoor's woodlands into the future is sustainable they make, they make money where that's appropriate, but it also is ba in balance with its, um, its, its special characteristics and some of the species and wildlife and archaeology that, that exists within them. Final question, what is it that you like most about Ashcombe? One of the things I like most about Ashcombe is this is a designed landscape. It was, it was planned to be a great garden, and if it had been built, it was going to be the most am amazing garden. It would be well known, nationally known today. And when you come here, you have to really search among the amongst the trees, you have to search amongst the woodland to find it. So it's really the archaeology of this garden in this wood. And what's, what's amazing about it is that the woodland is, is, is sort of has taken on a peculiar quality of wildness itself. Here we are on the top of Exmoor. And that's sort of in the spirit of its creator, John Knight, who really wanted to create a wilderness type garden, a picturesque garden. And in a sense, modern Ashcombe is in, in the spirit of what John originally imagined in, back in the 1820s.